well, well, well. What have we here? A four-leaf clover. Oh, lucky me. La, 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 uh -huh. la, la, la. What is that beautiful sound? La, 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 la. La, 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 la. There's a note you don't hear every day. What's up, Cinepop? <laughs> you want to go play with your friends? Well, go on. Have fun. La 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 la. My, my, those creatures are a menace to the safety of the public. And to plants. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Come on, guys, cut it out! Hey, no! Look out! Those little guys have a lot of energy. I think we better go get them before they get into any more trouble. Cut it out! These are grocery bags, not chew toys. Puppy, come here. Boy. Shabon. You girl. Oh, if only they had a place to burn off some of it. Like where? Like a place where they could play. A place all their own. Like a park or a... Hey, that's it. A dog park. That's a great idea, Strawberry. We could ask Huck to help. I think his hotel for homeless pets in Berry Big City has a dog park. I bet he'd have lots of great ideas. I'm calling him. Hello, Huck? Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. How are you? Oh, fine. Fine. I'm here with lemon, plum, blueberry, and raspberry. Hey, say hi. Huck says hi. Hi, hi Huck! <laughs> <laughs> we were wondering if you had time to come down here. Well, sure. Why? Well, we could use your advice on a little problem. Or rather, seven little problems. What kind of problems? What kind of problems? <laughs> this kind! <laughs> See what I mean? Sure do. I'll be by in the morning. Oh, that'll be great. Thanks. See you. Bye! He'll be here in the morning. I hope we can hold out that long. Come, Come here, now. you! La 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 Morning, Strawberry! Please, don't stop. I love listening to you sing. It's very beautiful. <laughs> they enjoy it, too. Thanks. La 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 how in the world do you sing like that? Well, I practice a lot. 
But I couldn't hit that high note without this. My good luck charm. I think your singing is more than luck, Cherry. It comes from all the practicing you do. I found it one day when I was taking a walk in the country. The next day, I recorded my first hit record. I could never hit the high notes before I had it. Now I keep it with me whenever I sing. La, 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 la! Here we go again. Easy, guys. No, no! Oh, come back here! Pumpkin heel! Settle, Siobhan! Here, Hannah! Oh, Peter Patch, please! Look, Strawberry. I didn't have the charm. I must have dropped it when I was putting it in my pocket. That's why I couldn't hit the high note. Cherry, I really don't... <gasps> Come here, Marmalade. Don't think your charm had... Scouty! Had anything to do with... Oh, hit a patch! Hmm. Oh, it's up! Just in time. <sighs> <laughs> Looks like you have your hands full. Uh, oh! You can say that again. <laughs> no, cut it out! <laughs> Give me your hand. Here you go. Phew! Now you see why we thought a dog park might help these guys burn off some energy. <laughs> a dog park's a great idea. I already made some sketches. I thought you could put a puppy playground here, uh, a fountain for drinking over there, uh, some places to cool off in the shade. Huck, this is wonderful. It's exactly what we need. How long do you think it'll take you to build it? Me? Oh, uh... I didn't know you wanted me to. We can have a grand opening next week. It could be done by then, right? A big gala, food, music, entertainment. Oh, I could sing. The Berry Kids will help, of course. We'll need decorations, flyers, invitations. Think you could help us, Huck? Uh, sure. Why not? Great. When can you start? Well, I guess I could start now. Great. Wonderful. This is our lucky day. are on the job. On the job. We are going to give this project the highest degree of craftsmanship. Craftsmanship. Nothing less than perfection. Perfection. It is the Berrykin way. Oh. Hi, Huck. Uh, How's it going? Moving right along. These guys, uh... Really know what they're doing. Yo, uh, Mr. Huckleberry, boss. Did you want these Blivet support corners, 14 by 93s or 72 by 67s? Oh. Well, we want it to be safe, of course. Wouldn't want it to, you know, <laughs> fall down. You got it, boss. Zero. I told you you'd want the 72 67s. Sorry, boss. I'll never doubt you again. <laughs> Is everything okay? Hey, no problem. I've got it covered. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, Mr. Huckleberry, you better have a look at this. Sounds like they, <laughs> you know, need me. Hmm. Sure it is. Couldn't be. I can see it, I tell you. And I tell you, I can't. So, what's the problem? Not good. Not good at all. Wall's crooked. We're reading point zero 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 three off straight and level. Uh, what do you think, boss? Oh, well, boy. Hmm. Looks more like point zero 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 two, wouldn't you say, boss? Zero 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 three. Well, uh, looks like a three to me. <laughs> ah. Okay, people. Gonna have to tear this out and start over. Let's get some shovels on this thing. Put some muscle in it. It is the Berrykin Way. Berrykin Way. I can't let them find out, Tom Tom. They'll think I'm a total fraud. Which I am. <sighs> Everything I build falls apart. That doghouse I built. And the fence I built. And the treehouse I built. What am I going to do when they find out? Psst. 
Tom Tom, come on. Hmm. Maybe if I practice without anybody knowing, maybe I'll get the hang of it. I mean, how hard can it be? There, check that out, Tom Tom. I built the whole thing, and it didn't fall down. That's one fine wall, if I do say so myself. <gasps> oh. What was that, Pupcake? Huck? What's going on? What's wrong? What wrong? Oh, you know. <sighs> I'm a klutz, that's all. Everybody thinks I'm a great builder, but I can't build anything. I thought maybe if I practiced. <sighs> but you see how it turned out. Look, Huck, not everybody's good at everything. Learning to build things is like anything else. It takes patience, practice, and confidence. I read somewhere that a good building is like a good friendship. It needs a strong, solid foundation. When you build from a good base, you get something that lasts forever. Yeah. Thanks, Strawberry. You know, Tom Tom, maybe Strawberry's right. I need to have patience. I need to practice. I need a good foundation. And some plain old luck wouldn't hurt. Well, there's a lucky find. Nice. Wonder where it came from. Any minute now. Hey, what's wrong with this thing? Something very strange here. Incredible! <laughs> well, Tom Tom, I guess my luck has finally changed. And it changed when I found this. I never saw anything like it. Zero point zero zero. Zero! <gasps> Absolutely, perfectly, completely straight! The Barrican Way! for you. I never knew you were such a badminton ace. Neither did I. Great shot. Wow! Hooks, you are so good at horseshoes. Oh, just lucky. Have the wall finished. The Barricans are finishing installing the sprinklers now. The playground's already done. Will it be ready for the grand opening? Oh, yeah. We're ahead of schedule. All that's left is the big <laughs> entry, and it'll be... 
Cherry, what's the matter? My good luck. Charm, I can't, can't find it anywhere. What's it look like, Cherry? This big, on a chain, crystal, beautiful, all sparkly, and I can't sing at all without it. Cherry, you know you can sing. You don't need luck for that. But I do, Strawberry. I can't hit the high notes without it. Come on, Cinnapop. Look for it, girl. Find it. Remember, Cherry, we make our own luck with practice. Right, Huck? <laughs> Oh, Tom Tom, I know it's hers, but it's lucky for me, too. If I give it back, I'll be a klutz forever. It's gone, Cinnapop. It's gone. Cherry, hold on. Hi, Huck. What's up? I just. I wanted to tell you. You. Want to get some lunch? I don't really feel like it. Thanks. Are you still upset about losing that thing? Mm-hmm. My lucky charm. Maybe Strawberry was right. Maybe you don't need it. I tried to hit that high note without it. I couldn't. Cherry? Cherry, listen. Oh. I need to tell you something. About that. Yo, Mr. Huckleberry, sir! Big news! Very big news! <clears throat> the Perrykin Builders Guild has decided to make you an honorary member of the Society of Extraordinary Engineers. Congratulations, boss! A rare honor indeed, richly deserved by such a talented builder. That's fantastic, Huck. Don't know what to say, but I don't deserve this. Really, I don't. No one deserves it more! Nonsense! This is it, Tom Tom. The keystone. The last, most important piece. As soon as it's done, I'll give Cherry her lucky charm back. Huh? <laughs> Cherry? Oh, I didn't know anyone was here. Are you all right? Mm, I'm okay. I'm just sorry I can't sing at the party. After all the work you've done. The place looks wonderful, Huck. I don't know how you did it. Yeah, about that. I think this is yours. I found it. Huck! Oh, this is incredible! Thank you! Oh, you don't know how much this means! Now I can... La, la, la... <clears throat> la... I can do it! I can hit the high notes again! That thing's amazing! I was a total klutz till I found it. Then I was the best builder ever. I don't understand it myself, but it really works, doesn't it? La, 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 la! Tomorrow, I'll tell the Barricans I'm no engineer. It was all luck. I've got a hole in my pocket? Hold on. I hit the high note, but I didn't have the charm. Maybe what Strawberry said was... Let's try something, Huck. Let's test it. What do you mean? Here goes. Patience, practice, and confidence is the key. La, 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 la. Now, your turn. You're doing it, Huck. Yeah, but now the real test. I have to take out the supports. Look at it, as steady as a rock. <laughs> you did it! 
did it! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> yeah. What's going on out here? You were right, Strawberry. I never needed that charm. Neither of us did. Hard work works better than luck. Is it finished? Is it done? Yep, it's all ready. <laughs> hey, Huck, I have an idea. A souvenir we can share. Thanks, Cherry. This really was my lucky day. <laughs> sure not to forget the honey. Got it. You like the carrot? And twirl the very best princess baton. Really? I have to twirl the very best princess baton? I'd better practice. Climb the buffet. Right, the buffet. Sample the cobbler. Cobbler? And ask the blurkles. Uh, blurkles. Get all the wings. Spaghetti. Oh, the buffet. Oh, Before, oh, after. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, but I still don't know what my duties are. It's quite simple, actually. Princess Berry King's bitty book of Berry Fest Princess Duty says the princess shall preside over the festivities of Berry Fest. Especially the parade must be the very best. What does that mean exactly? It means you're responsible for getting everything ready. See you Bye -bye. Bye -bye. See you uh, wait, please. This is a great honor, but I'm not sure I know how to put on a parade. Oh, of course. How silly of me. Here's the things to do list. Thank you. This doesn't look so bad. <gasps> oh, galloping grape leaves. This is a lot to do, Custard. Oh, how am I going to get it all done? Hmm, what would a leader do? I know. No, she would give tasks to the members of her team. But who's my team? <laughs> my friends, of course. And you know, Custard, they've already said they want to help me. Now, all I have to do is assign some of these tasks. Hello, Blueberry. Hi, Lemon. Oh, Plum, my friend. Would you be able to help me with the parade, please, Orange? Raspberry, could you please help me with something? We'd love to! No, oh, I knew they'd help me. See you later, Custard! <laughs> I'm on my way to plan the buffet, but I thought I'd stop by to see how the garland is. <gasps> huh? What are you doing? I'm sorting these nut pieces for the squirrels. The real nuts got mixed in with the metal nuts. I want everything in my store organized so I can focus on making the garland like you asked. Maybe sorting nuts should wait till after the parade. I'd be happy to help you then. When the box said mixed nuts, <laughs> they weren't kidding. And just when I have so much work on my hands... You know, that garland is very important to the parade. <gasps> oh, no! Look at the time! Uh, I'm late to pick up the petals from my garlands. Um, Strawberry, could you watch my store for just a few minutes? Uh, sure, Orange. Go ahead. Oh, and if you're bored, feel free to sort the nuts. Oh, she just...
just ran off on an errand. Say, am I glad to see you, Plum. Have you finished the berry can dance for after the parade? Not yet, but I've decided that Orange and I should perform the Berry Bitty Bunny Hop during the parade. But the berrykins have to... Since Orange isn't here, I need you to try out some steps with me. <laughs> I'd love to help Plum, but I'm actually in the middle of a sorting project for Orange. Oh, that's okay. You can keep sorting while you hop. Come on, Strawberry! <laughs> now left, right, left, two, three, four. as soon as I finish these wonderful wings for the butterfly float. Oh, at last, someone is helping me. Thank you. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Oh, <laughs> hi, Lemon. Say, Lemon, could I please hear the music you picked for the parade? That's what I came to talk to you about. Wow, is that the butterfly wing I'll be standing next to? Sure is. You want to hold it? Of course. Um... <laughs> See? A perfect match. <laughs> <laughs> that looks great, girls. But could we please focus on our parade tasks? Say, do you know what'll really make this wing spectacular? Rhinestones! I've got a rhinestone fastener at home. I'll just add some sparkles to this, and it'll be much more springtime paradier. Oh, but wait, the wings are supposed to look exactly the same. I'm sorry Lemon decided to change your design. Oh, no, no, no. She's so right. They should be sparklier. Hey, you know, I'm going to add a little bit of glitter glue to my wing, too. <laughs> or maybe a lot. Yes, sparkles would be nice. But don't we have more important things to do right now, Raspberry? Like for the parade? <laughs> oh, no, but making the wings more sparkly. Sparkly is helping the parade. <laughs> right. Then maybe you and Lemon could decorate the wings together. You know, help each other. Speed things up. <laughs> well, since you're here, you could help me. <laughs> you know, speed things up. I apologize, Raspberry, but I just can't right now. I have a dozen unfinished things to do. 
Thanks for all your hard work on the float. Gotta go! Bye! Oh, I've tried to be a good leader, Custard, but things haven't gone well. I assigned tasks to my friends and then followed up with them and motivated them, but somehow nothing got finished, Custard. Custard? <laughs> That's exactly right. You got distracted by something, and so did my friends. It's easy to do. I just wish they could be more helpful to each other. It seems like everybody is so stressed. And I don't know how I'm supposed to do each and everything on this list, right down to the last task. Huh? What's this, Custer? Oh, did you find something? Oh, it's the very last task. Oh, no, not another one. It says, I wrote this so fast, I put this task last. But it's rule number one, make the parade fun. <laughs> Everyone knows that. No, wait, that's what I'm doing wrong. I've assigned so many tasks that no one is having fun. Hmm, maybe I'm expecting too much of everyone. From now on, I'll just have to work harder. We like what we do and do what we like. Don't we have a very nice life? Grab some fruit, have some fun, wait till the work is done. It's time to celebrate, laugh and sing. There's magic in the air. We are the very kids. Decorate carriage. Check. Plan menu. Hmm, check. Baton twirling. Mm, yep. Mm, working on it. <laughs> Strawberry. Huh? I know it's getting late, but this is all the garland I've gotten done so far. Oh, that's fine, Orange. Don't worry. Leave this here and I'll take care of the rest. Thank you very much. Oh, and Orange, keep smiling. Uh, okay. <sighs> Look, Strawberry, I changed the parade route again. I like this one much better. <gasps> what do you think? Oh, just one second, Blueberry. Uh... <gasps> Wait, these posts are in the wrong place. That's the old route. This is the new route. If I'd gotten your map sooner, Blueberry, we could have changed things. But no time now. We'll have to go with your own. But I did this one in ink. Oh, don't be upset. I'll try and move the posts. I want you to be happy. Hey, Blueberry, check out my bunny hop. I made it way better. That's the fifth time you've made it better, Plum. Hey, Strawberry, which huh? of our wings looks prettier? <laughs> Girls, this is a parade, not a competition. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> they both look fine. See, she likes mine best. Uh-uh, not in a billion trillion years. Oh, oh. Look, Strawberry. I had to make more garland because Blueberry tells me the parade route is now longer. <laughs> what are we supposed to decorate with that? A shoebox? At least I'm doing something useful. Um, can somebody help me, please? Dancing is useful, not when it's too hard to do. I can't possibly learn your new double hoppity in time. It isn't my fault that Lemon took so long choosing the music. Hey, you're hopping on my map! Huh? Whoa. Ow! Would you mind keeping that thing out of my face? Yours is a monstrosity. My map is ruined. Hopping is silly. You're lucky all you have to do is garland. Oh, no. This is no fun. So yeah. Somebody? I gave them so much work, they've forgotten how to be nice to one another. Well, at least one of them has come back to help me. Strawberry, I'm not good with the needle and thread, and this needs some beef. I'll be back in ten minutes to pick it up. Gotta go. So behind on the music. <gasps> Get 
more pink gooseberries. just one little thing, and I just kept asking her to help me. And I didn't even say please. Girls, I think we all got so wrapped up in our little projects and what we needed that we didn't even pay attention to what Strawberry needed. <laughs> no wonder she took off. If I was her, I'd quit too. I was so selfish. She kept asking us to help each other, and instead we were just rude to each other. I was mean, and she only asked us to do one little thing. And I messed it up with my rhinestones. No, no, it was all me with my silly glitter. Trying to have the best wing. Why didn't we just help each other out like she asked? <laughs> Here, please take my hanky. Thank you. We're all to blame. And after Strawberry worked so hard. <gasps> what a great leader. Never complained. Always polite. Heart of gold. And she cared so much about us having fun. And now she's left. <laughs> can someone help me down? I can still hear her pleading voice in my memory. <gasps> Please? Wait! That voice is real! <gasps> Look! Up there! <gasps> hey! Over here! Whoa. Well, we've just got to save her. Come on, everyone! you all march here to my rescue. <laughs> I wish you could have seen it. Marching and singing and <laughs> carrying garlands. It looked like a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Once we worked together and were nice to each other. Girls, I was worried for a minute we wouldn't have a parade. But you just gave me the best parade ever. We did? We did! <laughs> Let's 
be clear about this. Strawberry, it was you who made this parade happen. You never gave up, even when no one was helpful. And we all thank you from the very bottom of our hearts. You're making me feel like a real princess. is in charge of the Wanderberry hunt. And you're the Berry Fest princess this year, so you tell us where to look. Lead on, oh fearless leader! <laughs> Very well, faithful Berry Hunters. As your most leaderly leader, I hereby decree we look... Hmm, um, how about over that way? Begging the princess's pardon, but the really amazing plants grow over by the creek. I bet it's that way. I read somewhere that Wanderberries like shade. I say we check under those tall flowers. <laughs> I'm so sure we'll find it hiding in there somewhere. Wanderberries need sun. It's gotta be over there. <laughs> Guess they all have their own ideas, huh? I have a feeling we'll find it over here. Just a hunch, but that's what my heart's telling me. Come on, you two. <laughs> okay, Custard, Pupcake. Keep your eyes open. Only one Wanderberry plant grows at a time. And it could be anywhere. Could be right under our noses. <laughs> oh! <laughs> There it is, the one and only, one of a kind, <gasps> Wonderberry. <gasps> Isn't it the most very beautiful thing you've ever seen? <laughs> Careful, Pupcake. This berry is going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. <laughs> 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 Whoa! Are you all right, Mary Kim Blue? Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Uh, had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for. <sighs> but you found it. Oh, my, my, my! Yes, yes, yes! Uh, 
fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color's so rich, the shape just so... the texture, oh, amazing. Oh, and the aroma, oh, yes, perfect in every way. Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pat, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found it? Strawberry! Strawberry found it! <laughs> Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's incredible! Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, 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 no, 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 Go mm. mm. harder! You can do it! Come on, oh. Strawberry! Give it a good shake! Oh, uh. that's it! Uh. This moment, a new Wanderberry is springing up somewhere. Could it be here, or there, or there? We never ever know quite where. This thing's pretty heavy. It's gonna take all of us working together to get it back. Is everyone ready? Ready! Uh, Miss Shortcake? What's the matter? Did you hear that? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Me neither. Me neither either. But listen. Very close. Oh, there it is again. How very beautiful. Oh, quite a lovely sound. I still don't hear anything. I hear my stomach growling. Oh, just thinking about our picnic tomorrow and having this berry for dessert. Oh, it stopped. I wonder why. All I know is we have to get this berry back. Uh, you're right, Orange Blossom. Let's get moving. Hee! Ho! Hee! How will we get the berry back now? Yeah, what'll we do, a wise leader? Just gonna have to carry it back, I guess. <sighs> that thing must weigh at least a lot. We can do it, together. Come on, everybody, grab hold. Let's hold your legs. Okay, guys, count to three. One, two, three. <laughs> Hurry. It's getting dark. Yeah. Can't leave it way out here. Gotta get it back tonight. Right. Uh, we have a tradition to keep, you know? Right? 
We should keep moving, right? Oh, it is tradition, <laughs> but you are the very first princess, and this decision is yours to make. I know everyone is very tired. We're having the picnic here tomorrow. That's true. So we just have to bring it back. Yeah, I guess it'll be okay. Custard! Do you hear that? It sounds somehow different now. Almost like something's wrong. Maybe we should go look for it to make sure it's all right. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry! It's a disaster! Disaster, disaster! What is? What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, come on and see! You tell me what. <gasps> oh no! Is everything all right? The berry kids tell me that. Oh, oh my! We've been robbed by rabbits, burgled by bunnies, and they ate almost every last berry bit. Oh, I was really looking forward to a big berry dessert this afternoon. It just won't be the Berry Fest feast without it. Yeah, it's a tradition. When the old one disappeared, a new one popped up. Somewhere, right, Berry Can Bloom? Oh, yes, uh, that's true. Quite true. Oh, right. We'll have a Wonderberry after all. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find it. I think there's something wrong with that bird. I think it needs me. I think we need you. You know, she's right. There's only about a ton of things to do around here. And since you're the Berry Fest princess this year, you're in charge of everything. You have to judge the flower show. And you need to help with the Berrykin Band concert. And there's the whole Berry Fest feast to plan. And you can't do anything till we find another Wanderberry? You're the leader. You have to decide what we do next. All right, all right. I will decide. Orange Blossom, you help the Berry Kim Band set up for their concert. Will do. Lemon Meringue, you get the flower show set up and pick the top three for me. I'm on it. Raspberry Tort, Plum Pudding, Blueberry Muffin, you'll help me get the food ready for the feast. And you, yes. I want you to go look for the new Wanderberry, okay? Blue okay. <laughs> Forty-six and forty-seven. Right. Need about another dozen. All done with the flowers. Need any help in here? Oh, we'd love some help with the sandwiches. The fairy kid band's ready to go. Can I help you? We can use all the help we can get. You and I can work on the salad, Orange Blossom. See? We're going to be fine. As long as we work together, nothing can stop us. <gasps> Did you find the new Wanderberry? We looked everywhere. Two times. No, three. We, we couldn't, couldn't find it. And we're as sorry as can be. <sighs> oh, no. How can we possibly have the Berry Fest feast without the Wanderberry? It's almost time for the picnic. You still have to pick a winner at the flower show. And there's the band concert, too. So what are we going to do, Strawberry? What are you gonna do, Strawberry? You're the leader here. Yeah, tell us, Strawberry. Well, what's gonna happen? What'll we do? Yeah, what? I don't know! I need a minute to think by myself. Was it just me or did she seem a little stressed? Ugh, I have no clue what to do. It's all just oh, too much. 
Oh, there it is again. It's coming from over there, isn't it? It sounds like it's having some real trouble. I better go check on it. Oh, but they're waiting for me back there. What should I do? Oh, it's so hard to decide. It's never easy, is it? Oh, I want to make everybody happy, but they all want something different. I can't decide who to listen to first. Oh, you'll do the right thing. Don't worry that the others might disagree with you. Just listen to your heart, Strawberry Shortcake. You have a very good one, you know. Thank you. I'll tell your friends that you need a few minutes. I know what I have to do. I have to find that bird, but... <sighs> Which way now? Do you think it sounds... Weaker? Seems like it's coming from this way. Come on, you two, let's hurry. I still hear it. It's up here somewhere, I'm sure. You can do it, Pupcake. There you go, come on now. I think we're getting closer. Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Do you? Where could it be? What is it, Custard? Oh, you found the Wanderberry. It's smaller than the other one, but it's still very beautiful. I'll be careful not to lose this one. You didn't know you were out here finding the Wanderberry all by yourself. Lucky for us, you're the very best princess this year. Come on, let's get it back to town. In just a moment. Uh, but why not now? Because first, I have to find that bird. Do you know where it is, Pupcake? <laughs> there it is. Oh, poor little fella. Oh my, this sweet little thing. What's the matter with it? I'm not sure. Oh dear, it's all tangled up. Can you get it loose, Strawberry? I think so. There, you're free. Go on, little birdie, you fly away now. We have to get this berry back home. Uh, Strawberry? You coming? Something's still wrong. Oh, it can't fly. Why not? I don't know. Uh, maybe it, it hurt its wing. Oh, we better leave it here and, and get a doctor. Or we could build a stretcher and carry it back to town. Yeah, those are very good ideas, but... What is it? Are you hungry? Strawberry? That's for the feast, remember? Let's see if it wants some. Does that make you feel better? I have some more. Oh, well, uh, uh, don't give it all. We can find some seeds or something. But this is helping. It's a very special plant. The Wonderberry is especially nutritious. If we don't get the berry back for the feast, everybody's gonna be really disappointed. Well, if they are... I'm sorry, but this is the right thing to do. I know it is. But how can you be so sure? I can't be completely sure, but I have to make what I feel is the best decision and go with it. I guess that's what being in charge is about. I've considered everybody's ideas, but now I have to do what I feel is right, even if it doesn't please everyone. You can't make a better decision than that. Is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, kind of beautiful. Here, little fella. That berry was just what it needed. 
I'm glad we listened to you, Strawberry. Otherwise, we never would have made up our minds on what to do. <laughs> That's why you're the leader, because you know how to stick with a good choice, even if it wasn't what the rest of us wanted. Thanks, guys. Strawberry! It's wonderful! What? What is it? Guess we're having a very fest feast after all. Is everybody ready for dessert? <laughs> I think there's enough to go around. But first, first, my friends, let's thank our hostess, our very fest princess, for this wonderful feast. Thank you, everybody. I'm just glad that... that... What's the matter, Strawberry? You speechless? No. Listen. That's the song it was singing the first time I heard it. No, I think it's a little different. I think this song is a song meant for you. Galumphalot galumped closer and closer and closer until it went. Woogie, woogie, woogie! <laughs> 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 oh, hey, Orange! I have your lunch all packed and ready for you. Thanks, Strawberry. Um, are they reading what I think? Reading? The Galumphalot story. You should stick around to hear the end. Um, no, thank you. The beginning and the middle are enough for me. And what did the Galumphalot say? Wuggy, wuggy, wuggy! you decided to have a special style under the stars hair extravaganza? <laughs> I can't think of a more thrilling way to spend an evening. Oh boy, I just can't wait to see how my hair will turn out. It's so super exciting. Raspberry, when I'm done with you, your hair will be completely different. Excitement, thrills? I'm here for the relaxation. Oh, I've had a busy week.
Lemon. I think someone switched off the lights. Well, it's on. Well, the dryers are off too. I would conclude we have a power failure on our hands. It's dark everywhere. In here and, uh, ooh, out there too. Oh, something must have happened at the Berry Works. I better go over and see if I can help out. Hmm, must be a malfunction in the juice pipe junction over in Berry Bitty City. We'll have to go over there to start the repair. Better keep the baby barricans here until we get the power back on. Oh, yeah, I do good. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have no fear. I am here, ready to take charge and fix this problem. Now, everyone, follow me. Come on, Mr. Longface. The problem is not over there. It's at the juice pipe junction. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, I was going to suggest we check there, too. Oh, oh, hi! Oh, oh, hi! Oh, oh, help me! Oh, Ow! Oh, oh, sorry! Uh, so what do we do now? I can't style what I can't see. I think we should head outside and see what the trouble is. The Barricans might need some help fixing the power. Out... outside? Um, maybe we should just wait in here. What's wrong, Orange? Is something bothering you? Uh, I guess... I guess I'm just a little bit scared. You? But you're always the very last one of us to be scared of anything. Oh, um, really? Well, yes. Remember the time when... You picked the fruit from the super high branch. You were the only one brave enough to swing into the pond. And then, you were the one that tightroped across... Um, never mind. You're not scared of anything. Well, I'm scared now, and I think we should stay inside. Are you saying you're afraid of the dark? I am absolutely not afraid of the dark. I didn't think you were. I'm afraid of the things that might be out there in the dark. Things? What things? Uh, like the moon and stars? Things like, well, Galumphalots! Wuggy, wuggy, wuggy! Wuggy, wuggy, wuggy! Okay, guys, stop. She's serious. I'm sorry, Orange. Are you really afraid of Galumphalots? From that cute story I was just reading to the baby berrykins the other day? But they aren't afraid of it. Well, I am. <laughs> but Galumphalots aren't real. They're just a silly story. But... but... Uh, how, how do you know Galumphalots are just a story? Because... because... Uh, well... Uh, Blueberry? Well, it must be just a made-up story because... I got it from the fiction section. You know, the make-believe section in my bookstore. But don't people who make up stories sometimes base them on real things? Well, yes, that is true. And it is a very old story. Can't call the author and ask. I told you! See? Maybe Galumphalots aren't real, but how do you know for sure? How do you know they couldn't be out there? In the... dark? <laughs> because... Uh, well, oh, come on. I've been in the dark lots of times and I've never ever seen one. But then we wouldn't see them. I mean, if they were real, it'd be hard to spot them in the dark because of the darkness. Not to mention, they could be really good at hiding out there, outside. In the dark? Come on, this is silly. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> Do you think that that's one of them? <laughs> now, wait a minute. How can we be sure that's a galumph a lot? Yeah. I thought they sounded more like... Wuggy, wuggy, wuggy! Well, 
whatever it is, let's keep it outside and, and, and us inside. Wait. See? It stopped. Glumphalot. <laughs> There's no such thing. I say! <gasps> it heard you, Blueberry, and it's answering back! Hmm. I would recommend bringing in the Big Banging Boat Remover! <laughs> but disassemble this entire juice pipe junction and rebuild it from the ground up. Uh, uh, you know, Mr. Longface, the Berrykins might be able to find a way to get the pipe open on their own. Without my leadership? But then, what will I do? I have another job that is very important. <gasps> you don't say. At your service, Miss Shortcake. How can I help? We need someone to tell everyone in Berry Bitty City that the Berrykins are working on the problem and the power will be out for a bit longer. You are just the caterpillar to deliver the news. That I am. I'm on my way. Execute plan juice pipe junction double knot seven slash six one. There's the problem. <laughs> What will do next? What if it's hungry for food? Food? Do you think it might... Do you think it likes food that, that tastes like... Like us? <gasps> I've never read anywhere that Galumphalots eat something like us. But I've also never read that they wouldn't eat something like us. <laughs> <gasps> it sounds like it came from Orange's store! <gasps> the Galumphalot security trap I put outside my store! <gasps> I must have caught one. Oh, sir! What's falling on top of me? <laughs> oh, pardon me! Oh, I hope I didn't break anything! <laughs> Someone, please help me! Someone, did we catch it, Orange? Someone, did we? Did we? Did we? <gasps> it's getting closer! There's only one thing to do then. Run? No. We must defend the beauty salon! No galumphalots allowed! No galumphalots allowed! I once read a book about booby traps. Well, if a book can do it, so can we. What's first, Blueberry? Um, bucket of suds over the door. Everybody knows that one. Well, hopefully not a galumphalot. Let me handle it. I'm a pro at this. <laughs> 
First, get one bucket of water. No! It's the only way. When the Galumphalot comes in, whammo! Okay, 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 hurry. Okay, okay. What's next? We must find a way to get the Galumphalot off balance. Squeezy, squishy, bitty, beauty batter for plants. I slipped on some once and slid all the way over to strawberries. <laughs> Uh, careful where you step! Okay, the last thing we have to do is find a way to get rid of the Galumphalot once it's here. Aha! Uh -huh. What you got? A headache. I think I'm thinking too hard. Wait, I have it! Anyone have a hair elastic? I do! Right here! I got a couple. I got one. Very much. Oh, it's good to know the lights are back on. What's this about a galumphalot? At Lemon Salon, the poor girls. I tried to save them, but I was completely <coughs> galumphed. Oh, but galumphalots aren't real. Yeah, yeah they're, they're not true. real. Yeah, it's just a story. Oh, this one most definitely was. We must do something. Do you have a plan? <laughs> No, no, no! This is a galumphalot we're dealing with. <gasps> Much better. Uh, follow me. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Follow me. F f follow. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Oh no! The galumphalot's coming back. And it sounds like he's bringing friends! And lots of them! There's only one thing we can do. We have to face him. Show him we're not scared. Even though we are. <gasps> That's the spirit. On the count of three. One, two, on three. Or after you say three. Oh, you know, I was wondering the same thing. Me too! I'd hate for you to run out on three, and I was left waiting here for you to say three. Maybe we could go out on four. Four's a good number. Yeah, yeah four. That's, that's a okay. good idea. Okay. Four! Charge! Wait! What's going on? Lemon, why are the lights in your salon still on?
still out. The Berrykins fixed the juice pipe junction a while ago. The power's back on? Oh, Bitterberries, I had the light switch off. Sorry, girls. What is this all about? There was a galumphalot, and we booby-trapped it. But it came back. No, that was us. <clears throat> and, um, uh, me, I I'm afraid. What got you thinking about galumphalots in the first place? Blueberry said she read a book that didn't say there weren't any galumphalots. Well, I only said that because the rest of you were sure there were galumphalots. But it's just a story. Woogie, woogie, woogie! It... it was me. Oh, ever since I heard that story, I started imagining what if there were galumphalots. And the story said they liked the dark, and I imagined some more, and... and, well, soon I was booby-trapping all around my store, and then Lemon Store, too, and then... Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. You never know what's in the dark, and... and, well, how could you see if the galumphalots were out there anyway, because... It is dark. Look around you, Orange. Now close your eyes. Are they closed tight? Now open them again and look around. Any galumphalots there? No. I always remind myself that there's nothing in the dark that isn't there in the light. You're right. And if you can imagine the galumphalot being scary, then you could probably do a good job imagining one funny, too. <laughs> You're right. We are all bigger than our fears, no matter how bitty we think we are at times. That's right! And Orange, you were the one who got your old courage back at the end, even when we were all scared. I was? Oh, yeah! And you were the one that said, four! I was! And you were the one that fired the elastic trap. I was! You were always the bravest of us. I am. You're right, Strawberry. There is nothing in the dark that isn't there in the light. Not even galumphalots. Woogie, woogie, woogie! Woogie, woogie, woogie! <laughs> <laughs> incredibly fast. Hi, Blueberry. So, how does your garden grow? Most definitely the fastest growing flowers I've ever seen. Just planted the seeds this morning, and look, they've sprouted already. Wow, that is fast. Zippy grow dramatic daisies from berry bitty seed to full-size flower in just a few days. Um, how big do you think they'll get? Approximately as tall as my store. Oh, almost forgot. The cookbook you ordered came this morning. Oh, terrific! Here you are! The Mighty Muffin Cookbook. Big recipes for bitty bakers. Oh, thank you, Blueberry. <laughs> You're very welcome. There's a corn muffin recipe in here that I can't wait to try. I've heard it's really good but it's more complicated than anything I've baked before. I read about the author, a very famous chef in Big Bitty City. I'm sure if you just follow his directions, you'll be just fine. Mm -hmm. 
75. Check. Set timer for 25 minutes. Check. Huh? Recipe? If those are muffins, I can't wait to see what happens when you bake a cake. Thanks for helping me clean up, everybody. When somebody in Berry Bitty City needs help, we all help. <gasps> you got it. Sure, no problem. Glad to help. That's what we do in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. And you're quite sure you followed the recipe? I think so. Well, the most likely explanation is that you must have made a mistake somewhere along the line. Seems like it. But I was sure I followed the directions. Well, I'll just have to try it again. And this time, I'll be super careful. No wonder they call you Zippy Grill. You're really getting big! Hmm, it's my observation that you look a little different from the picture. But you're so young yet. Who knows what you'll look like when you grow up? <gasps> oh no! Come on! What is it? Oh, no! Not again! Let's go! Uh, don't worry. This time I just put one bitty, and I mean very bitty muffin in the oven, instead of a whole pan. Huh? <gasps> huh? Oh. This time, all I have to clean is the oven. Okay, I got it. Just change its name to... Muffin surprise! Uh, <laughs> no. Muffin explosion? Ha! Uh -huh. Mega Muffin explosion supreme! Ha uh ha! -huh. <laughs> hey, that is pretty funny! <laughs> this really doesn't make sense. I was extra careful to follow the directions, but the same thing happened. I checked off every step, double checked the oven's temperature, triple checked the timer. Huh. Maybe the recipe has a mistake in it. What do you think? I think that's highly unlikely. Something you did seems more probable to me. Too much flour, not enough water? I measured everything to the last drop. But, you know, sometimes the most unlikely possibility is possible. There might be a mistake in the cookbook. But how could that be? I don't know. But the only way to find out is to give it another try and pay extra super close attention to every step. And if it still doesn't work, well, then maybe this is one of those times when I'll have to use my own judgment, my own common sense, and my own taste buds and adjust the recipe. Don't worry, I'll solve this puzzle. Hmm, I like directions you can count on. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes it's fun to improvise. Improvise? It means to make something out of what you have at the moment. Kind of like when things don't go as planned, go with what you have and make the best you can with it. I like it. Sounds like a good way to solve a puzzle. And speaking of puzzles, I've got one for you in my garden. Got a minute? Sure. Well, they're tall, all right. Even taller than the package said they were supposed to be. Are you sure they're daisies? Of course! It says so on the seed packet. Could they just look that way because they're still growing? Well, I'm not a plant expert. 
But you know who is. Uh, uh, oops, sorry, Blueberry. <laughs> no problem. Well, let's see. Uh, yes, it must be. <laughs> it's corn. Corn? Impossible. I planted daisy seeds. <gasps> Thank you, Blueberry. You're welcome, Berry Can Bloom. But are you sure? Oh, yes. If you hadn't caught me. I mean, about the, you know, daisies. Daisies? Oh, no, 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 no. Corn. Oh, dear. What's the matter? You've never looked sadder. It must have been something I did to the daisy seeds. Too much water or too little water or too much sun or something. Uh, oh, my. <laughs> you did everything right. <laughs> Best crop of corn I've seen. <laughs> That should be a natural with squash. Hmm. Oh, well, come on, everybody. Back to the berry works. <laughs> nice corn. Ooh, that's what I call corn. Tallest I've ever seen. Boy, it is big. Hi, berrykins. Hi, Hi strawberry. Nice corn. So I've been told. Maybe we better dig it up and replant it somewhere else before it gets too big. They can't get bigger. They're daisies. They have to be. It says so on the package. Well, I just came over because I got a letter from the author of the Mighty Muffin Cookbook. I wrote to him. You did? Uh-huh. I said I couldn't get his recipe to work, so I improvised. I've made muffins before, and I don't remember ever using that much baking soda. I tried using less, and the muffins came out better. So I asked the author, could there be a mistake in his book? And what did he say? That he checked it out, and yes, there was a mistake. The recipe called for a cup full of baking soda, when it should have been a tablespoon. Wow, that's the last thing I would have imagined, for the cookbook to be wrong. I tried the muffins again with the right directions, and they came out perfectly. He says they're printing a new edition right away, with the mistake fixed, and he's sending me a signed copy. <laughs> That's wonderful, Strawberry. So, you never know. Maybe you did everything right, but the package was wrong. Here, I made a batch of muffins for you. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Listen, gotta run back. <laughs> I'm still baking. See you, Blueberry. No, the plants I'm trying to describe that are growing in my garden at this very minute do not look anything like daisies. Okay, now let me get this straight. You're saying long leaves. Long leaves. Kind of bent down and flopped over, sort of like cornstalk leaves. Exactly like cornstalk leaves. And you say long thing is that sort of look like ears of corn. No, they look exactly like ears of corn. I'm looking at a picture of a big stalk of corn. Right here in the official encyclopedia of flowers, farm foods, and... Well, I'm a daisy man myself, no expert on corn, except when I pop it. But watch out, when you're bitty, that stalk pops with a bang. <laughs> but here at Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for bitty gardens is our motto, we pretty much guess that what you have growing there is probably... Corn. But how is that possible when I planted your company's daisy seeds? Well, now, right there's the mystery. And I don't mind telling you, it's got us stumped. Oh! Oh, no! See, the plain fact is that here at Zippy Grove Daisies, we don't sell corn, no serene. But we're a fiction tool. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. We've been experimenting with our own Zippy Grove Super Size Ever Pop Popcorn. Wow, what a bang when it pops. Goes off like a firecracker. As soon as we can figure out how to get the bang out of the pop, we're gonna put it on the market. In the meantime, we think that's the answer to your mystery. It is? Yep. 
we figure some of our experimental supersized popcorn must have gotten to one of our official Daisy Seed packets. And you bought it. <gasps> oh, no! Great zone. We all feel so sorry it happened. We're sending you a year's supply of Zippy Grow Daisy Seed packets. Compliments of Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for pretty gardens is our motto. Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate your help. Good night. Oh, no! I've called you all here is to see if we can put our heads together and figure out what we want to do with these. <laughs> well, since Blueberry says it's popcorn, I say let's pop it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, sounds good to me. All right, let's get popping. Okay, yeah, and have a popcorn party. I think that would be lovely. Oh, oh, that's that's okay. Okay. I wish I had listened to you, Strawberry, when you said I should replant them somewhere else. Now look at all the trouble my garden has caused. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. 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 I'm afraid a popcorn party with this popcorn would be ill-advised, meaning not a good idea. You see, the seed company hasn't figured out how to take the bang out of the pop, and I believe it would be too dangerous. Huh? Oh, my! We are pretty bitty. And this corn pop's very big. Yeah, oh, it's not a good idea. Uh, yeah, oh. I think so. You're right. Yeah. Oh, oh, here's an idea. Um, we could dig up all the corn stalks and move them so no more grows here. Good idea. We'll start right away. And we better get all these ears of corn out of town before they ripen and drop their seeds and grow goodness knows how many more. Good point. Oh, I wonder how far we'll have to take them. I would estimate far enough away so when the seeds do grow, they don't threaten us again. Makes sense to me. Yeah. On strawberry, how can we move them? <laughs> We're so bitty, and they're so <laughs> big. <sighs> Too bad we can't eat them. I have an idea. Orange, do you have any more rope in your store? Yes, I do. Why? Okay, let's move about! enough away, I believe. I 
think it's been? Hours. But at least with the steam heat, we'll be warm. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, me too. I wish I had an idea how to get us out of this. Oh, I never read about this kind of thing in any of my books. We'll figure out a way. Improvise. What we need is a ladder. Too bad all we have is an ear of corn. Wait, what did you say? Improvise. That's it! Hey! An ear of corn ladder! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> from the vent is making it too slippery. If only that steam vent would stop steaming. Now I'm really hungry. I wonder how raw popcorn tastes. Wait, why eat it raw? Because this place doesn't have a kitchen to cook it with. Use the steam vent. Heat the corn and make it pop. Then we could eat it. Good thinking, Strawberry. <laughs> Places that they should be. It's like they just vanished into thin air. It doesn't make sense. Then uh, maybe we should look in all the places that, you know, uh, don't make sense. What, like the opposite direction from where we last saw them? Why not? Well, at least we'll have plenty to eat. We can always pop more corn. Popcorn. That's it. Let's pop all the corn and it will fill up this cavern and carry us to the top. Oh, Blueberry, that's a great idea. Important. Very important. It's a birthday card to a friend of mine. 
Oh, I hope I'm mailing it in time. When's the birthday? Next week. Oh, it'll get there in plenty of time. Another letter! Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm afraid I've come down with a case of bumbly, wheezy, sneezy fever. <laughs> Oh, dear. That's too bad. Well, I think you'd better go home until you feel better. I think that's a very good idea. Yeah, 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 but... Yeah, 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 but... Thank you. <laughs> Quick, turn him around. Bless you. Thank you. Oh, now how am I going to get the mail delivered today? Is there a problem, Postmaster? Well, the problem is, all my delivery bees are on vacation. Which wouldn't be a problem, because they still have one left. Well, the problem is... <laughs> he's it. Oh. So, now the only one left to get the mail delivered is me. Oh, dear. But well, even that wouldn't be a problem. I can deliver the mail to Barry Betty City myself, but... But not this. What's that? Special delivery for Clement Cricket. Clear out in Acorn Acres. <laughs> Label says it's for his birthday. When's his birthday? Today. Today? Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> Here, J.D. Bug, let me help you. No, no. You should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I guess you're right. <sighs> Poor Clem. Looks like his birthday present will be late. But we can only do our very best. Wait! What if I helped you deliver this package, I mean? Well, <laughs> that's mighty kind of you, Miss Shortcake, but all the way to Acorn Acres, this is not exactly a hop, skip, and a jump, you know. Yeah, it's across the bridge way on the other side of the river. I have a scooter. I'm sure I can get it there in time. And I have the day off from the cafe, so I am at your service. <laughs> well, now, that's about the nicest thing I've heard in quite a while. Are you sure you want to give it a try? Very sure. All righty, then. <clears throat> Raise your right hand, please. Repeat after me. I, strawberry shortcake. I, strawberry shortcake. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. <sighs> You are now an official delivery person of the Berry Bitty City Post Office. <laughs> Strawberry! That looks great on you! Thanks, Orange. Thank you, Strawberry. This means a lot to me in the post office, and I expect Mr. Cricket. <laughs> J.D. Bug will stamp the package and get you on your way. Okay, Jeannie Bug. Ah! Here, let me... <laughs> no, no, you should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I, I guess you're right. Here, I can help. Why, why, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Anybody home? Right there, Plum! Well, if you can stamp this package, I'll be on my way. Oh! <laughs> right. Stamps. 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 Oh! <laughs> that was
was me. <laughs> stamps. 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 Aha! There! Do not open till Christmas? Oh, absolutely! It'd be cheating. Huh? But it's his birthday. Oops. Fragile? This end up. <laughs> Return to sender? Oh! Special delivery! Wait! How about a nice... Don't drop this package! Oh! Oh! Here's a... Sorry! Doesn't live here anymore! Huh. I've been looking for that one for months. No! Thank you! Well, congratulations to our new postal carrier. Orange told me all about it. Hi, Plum! Love the hat. Do you get to keep it? No. Just helping out for the day. Hiya, Pupcake. Take good care of this package, okay? It's got to go all the way to Acorn Acres. Acorn Acres? Way out there? Oh, can you make it in one day? Oh, it's still morning. Plenty of time. Uh, wait! Uh, who's taking care of your cafe? Mr. Longface. He's teaching a cake decorating class. Psst, strawberry. Lemon? What is it? I've got a problem. Pupcake, you better wait here. Take care of the package, okay? <laughs> Lemon, are you okay? Uh, uh, sure, sure. What is it? Something's wrong, isn't it? Here, there's a great article on two-tone toenail polish. I would like to see how my hair looks. Oh, hold on. I used a new hair mousse, and it's not exactly working out. I'm scared she's gonna... Oh, I don't want to think what she'll do when she sees. It's too terrible to... Let me see. Okay, but please keep your cool. As always. Yeah. Okay, come on. Oh, it's coming along nicely. Wow, that's a... a hairstyle, all right. Now can I? Not yet. Lemon, I've got to deliver a package for the postmaster. I'd love to stay, but... Oh, no, 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 no. You can't leave me. Please, Strawberry, please think of something. I don't know what to do. I'd like to keep Blueberry as my friend, but when she finds out, she's gonna... No, oh, and then she'll... No, oh. ouch. Okay, where's the bottle? Hmm. You know, I had a cake recipe that kept coming out just like that. Too hard, so I added pudding to the mix. Pudding? Try washing her hair with some vanilla pudding, then rinse it, then add stay-in conditioner with a little, um, avocado oil. That should smooth it all down. Hmm, you think? Worth a try. And don't worry, Blueberry always comes around. <sighs> Thanks, Strawberry. You calmed me down. I was just so flustered I couldn't think. <laughs> You're very welcome. Berry Bitty City Post Office. We do the very best we can. J.D. Bug speaking. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, yes, sir. I'll tell her right away. Has Strawberry gone yet? Yeah. Uh, why? The postmaster just heard at the storm we had the other night. It blocked the road to Acorn Acres. She won't be able to get through. <gasps> oh, no! Strawberry! Strawberry, come back!
like. But even if we could clear the road, it'd take us too long. <laughs> oh, I think the only thing to do is keep going without the scooter. to Rosevale, Brookville, um, and that must be the way to Acorn Acres. Great. <sighs> now which way should I go? Uh, I keep telling them they should fix this huh? thing, but do they listen? Because you didn't ask nice. What do you know about nice? Uh, nice is my middle name. Uh, no, it um, isn't. Excuse yeah, me. Yes. Um, is not. Okay, what is my middle name then? Ladybird. <laughs> Your name's Ladybug, Ladybird, Fairy Beetle. <gasps> How did you know that? Um, girls? Because maybe I've known you all your life and I'm your twin sister. My luck. If someone had asked me, I would have picked a different twin sister. Me too. Or, or, or I'd pick triplets. But none of them would have been you. <gasps> uh, hello? <laughs> well, don't just stand there. We need your help. You certainly aren't talking to me. Are you? We most very certainly are. Certainly for certain. Oh, well, what can I help you with? Can't you see? Sorry, but, um, you're gonna have to tell me. Let's make her guess. Silly, stop fooling around. This is serious. Well, I have a serious, uh, thing too. And, oh, can you tell me how to get to Acorn Acres? <gasps> Away? And we're really hungry. <laughs> I'm hungrier. I said it first. <laughs> Doesn't mean you were hungrier first. Girls, please, please explain. How did your picnic grow away? Well, we were looking for a place to have our picnic, and I had some great ideas, but she wouldn't listen, because my ideas were best. And while you were uh, discussing, the flower grew up where you left your picnic things? And now our picnic is up there! And we're down here! And I'm hungry. I'm hungrier. I am. Come on! We better get your things before they grow away any further. No way! You're gonna help us? Of course! But we need to be quick. That is so nice of you! Almost there. Steady, steady. Now lower. Watch out, Pupcake. <sighs> there. Oh. Hey, that's mine. Nuh uh. I made it. You made it for me? Okay, then what did you make for me? Don't spill that! <laughs> Uh, I can't open this. Give it to me, then. With your shaky hands? <laughs> I think not. <sighs> Come on, Pupcake. I guess the only thing we can do is try one of these roads. Where are you going? Yeah, don't you want to join us? It's a picnic for two, but you could share some of hers. Oh, thank you, but I have to deliver a package to Clem Cricket. 
only I knew how to get there. Oh, right! It's his birthday! Yup. Too bad he didn't have a party. Maybe he didn't invite us. Why would someone not invite me? How did you know it was his birthday? He's a friend of ours. Yep, lives right up the road, right up there. This road? Uh, no, that one. Mm, that one. That way, to the river. Oh, yeah, you're right. I am? Yep, just follow it to the river, go across the bridge over the next hill, and you'll be right there. Oh, thank you. Anytime. Sure thing. Hear that, Popcake? <gasps> it sounds like a river. Look, Pupcake, the bridge! Come on! On the other side is Acorn Acres. We're almost there! Oh, we're gonna make it in time. was out. Oh, Strawberry. Listen, I have to go tell the postmaster what happened. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? I wish there was. I just... don't know what it would be. Hey, your hair looks really nice. Your idea really worked. Thank you. And the avocado oil? My hair's never been so shiny. I love it. <laughs> I'm glad. What a day! <laughs> but everything got delivered. I'm sorry to say not everything. I'm very sorry. I tried. I got as far as the bridge, but it was out. Yeah, I'd heard about it after you'd gone. Too late to stop you, I'm afraid. It's quite a thing you did getting that far. But I didn't deliver the package. The mail didn't get through. Oh, and I promised it would. Actually, you promised to do the very best that you could. And you did that. You see, there are times when things happen that are out of our control. The only thing we can do is the best we can. I'll call the post office in Big Bitty City. See if we can bring in some help. Maybe take the back road through Oak Tree Meadows and get to Acorn Acres that way. Will they get here in time? Well, <laughs> we can only do our very best. I just wish I could have delivered it. Maybe you still can, Strawberry. <laughs> What's all this? I, um, sort of spread the word that you needed help. You always help us when we need it. So we decided to help you. Here in Very Bitty City, we always try to help each other get the job done. We all put our heads together and came up with an idea to help you deliver the package. Oh, thank you, everyone. What idea? <laughs> Cupcake? <laughs> Cupcake, where are you? <clears throat> huh? <laughs> Do you need a bridge now? I think this is perfect. Thank you, everybody. Da <laughs> Miss Shortcake. Oh. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Hang on, Pupcake. <laughs> Yes. 
special delivery for Clem Cricket. <laughs> That's me. This is for you. And happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> Thank you.